Okay, guys, I know that conditional probability can be a little bit confusing, so I've, ha I've set up a little, a little mock situation to help you out. Uh, and hopefully this will help some of you who are, are responsible for this part of the explain your brains. First off, we have males and females and what program they're in, either humanities, business, or science. And it was counted up how many fell into each category, how many males were in humanities, how many females. And you can see the, the, the row and column ends are the total. So there are 70 total humanities students, 190 business, and 65 science. That as well, um, there are 160 males total and 165 females. The kind of seafoam green number in the corner represents the total number of students that were included in this survey, 325. So we're going to work with some conditional probabilities which give us a condition that must be met that allow us to narrow down what's going on. So we're going to find the probability a student is a business major given that they are male. And that given essentially allows us to, to narrow down the fact that we know they are male. We're only dealing with males, so we're actually going to ignore the second row. And in the first row, we're going to say, okay, business majors. There are a hundred business majors that are male. We know the student has to be male, so that's our condition. There are only 160 males total. Essentially, it's like we're ignoring the females altogether because it's given they're male, we're going to focus on just that row. We're going to take our calculators out and divide 100 by 160, and please be certain you do the top number divided by the bottom number and get 0.625. If I wanted to round that to two decimal places, that would give me a probability of 0.63. Now notice that's different than looking at just 100 male business majors over 325 people total. This allows me to be much more accurate because of that given condition. Now the next one we're going to look at is find the probability a student is female given they're a science major. We know they're a science major, so we're going to focus on just the science information or just this column of the chart. Out of the science information, we have 25 females and 65 science majors total. So we're focusing, we're focusing our efforts in. To get a big long decimal when we divide, which is okay, I'm just going to write down the first four decimal places because we're going to want to round that to two decimal places. Remember, when we round to two decimal places, we look at the second decimal place and we look next door to the four and say, okay, this gets to stay 0.38. A lot of times people will look um, and round cumulatively. They'll look at the six and say, the six must knock the four up to a five, so the five must knock the four up to a nine. And that's not the way we round. We look next door only. So don't, don't look too hard when you round. Just, just look next door and, and use that as your rounding buddy. So these are our probabilities for conditional information. So I hope that helps guide you a little bit as to how we use that condition to help us narrow down and calculate our probabilities. And you know if you have any questions, you know where to find me.